Kenneth McPherson. Um, very fortunate to be the uh, chief executive for our region, which covers Europe, the Middle East, uh, Asia, and Africa. So based out of the UK, um, spending a lot of time, of course, across that glorious region, uh, really with the accountability to trade the business, grow the business, and, and build a reputation of the business, working with the many colleagues in ISG who have roles to be part of that. Okay, so we are going to spend a little time together for you to talk about you, your vision. And my first question would be, what job did you want to do when you were little, when you were a child? Well, I think it's a little, um, it's potentially a little embarrassing, is that I had great ambitions um, to be a famous rock star. Oh, great. And um, for many, many years, with glorious friends, we, we wrote music, which we were convinced was fantastic. Um, uh, but but sadly didn't get picked up on by the record companies. So uh, when that when that hope faded, then um, a little bit later, I was always very clear that what I wanted to do was to be an an international general manager. I wasn't sure I necessarily knew what it meant, but I knew that it would be across multiple parts of business, and that it had to involve um, living and working overseas as part of that, and working across multiple cultures and uh, nationalities as part of what I did when I sort of set myself that goal. Okay, so that is what led you to the hospitality industry, of course. And who are or were your models or mentors that keep you driving, going, moving forward? Uh, I I look look back on my career and I I feel very fortunate to to now be doing what I'm doing. And... um, as I, as I think about this, I think of the, the, the leaders who, in my past, um, as my career has been building, um, have been the kind of leaders who would take a bet on, on young talent. Um, I look back and was the, there was the leader who supported me being sent um, overseas for the first time. There was um, the, the leader who gave me a bigger role in the past. And, uh, you know, really now, if I actually think about the role those leaders played to, to coach, to give me opportunities to take risks, but also actually to be there to catch me when I got things wrong. And as any successful yeah. leader, of course, I've, I've got things wrong along the way. Um, yeah, those are the people who've, who've inspired and set the, set the bar very high around what I now try to do for, for the development of talent in the organisation. Okay. And what has been the biggest challenge in your career until now? The, I mean, the integration of our, of our region um, at the moment. So, I mean, what a great privilege to, 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 to pull together two, two of our former regions in IHG when we, when we were restructuring this whole new, new programme to accelerate our growth. Um, at one sense, that's combined two regions, but, but what I've been setting out to do, and the business has been been um, committed to, is to, to not only combine and create one region, but to actually change the way that the whole business operates across Europe, Middle East, Asia, and Africa. Um, so part of it's been about moving the business away from having more central resource yeah. to actually placing a lot more resource close to market. Now, in some respects, that's a structure change, Actually, the, the really challenging part is that means you have to develop the systems, the behaviours, the capabilities, the way a team works. Um, and to do that from being a, a remote leader and, and actually that, that creation of those teams has been, been challenging. Um, the way I've done that, as I've always done, is to, is to travel, to be alongside the teams, yeah. to nurture, to coach, to, yeah. to work with them, to set them up for success. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's been a glorious challenge and it's been, been a tremendous um, couple of years now to, to be doing that. Okay, great. And so I guess what is important to you today is to manage that change and to, to, do, to finish the, the change, the transformation, or maybe you have some, something else to share with us. Well, there's, there's always more to do on yeah. that. Okay, so, so, so you know, one, one thing's for certain is that, 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 job's, never, that job's never done. Um, if I look at the um, at the role that I've got, I mean, the constant um, areas to focus on. So one is about 
the markets that we're that we're we're focusing on, uh, and how do we develop and accelerate those? Um, alongside that is, of course, organisation and and the talent that we have in place. And of course, there's a big industry theme; it's a huge priority for IHG. And not surprisingly, it's it, it's a significant priority for me. Um, clearly, how do we drive the performance, and how do we do that in a way that, that has the right impact as well? Um, and the way that we operate as a company is kind of extremely extremely important to me. Okay. Uh, what is your outlook on the sector, the main challenge in, to your point of view? Um, I'm, 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 I'm bullish on, on, on the industry overall. Um, I think we have you know, many markets where the core drivers of, of growth for hospitality and tourism and travel are, are, are very strong. We've got markets with rapidly growing middle classes. We've got countries where that level of GDP per head is getting to the point where people can spend on leisure as well as, as moving from, from, from you know, caring, putting those basic needs in place. We've got um, high levels of economic growth. We've got uh, countries who are relying on more global connection. Um, nations that have got exciting infrastructure development plans. So when I actually look at this, then from, a, from the optimistic side, Many of the drivers um, are positive about the total market. And of course, many of the countries that I look for, the actual penetration of branded international hotels is relatively low. So there's plenty of upside to, to grow there. Um, now, equally, some of those markets have challenges. There's always uh, economic volatility, there's sometimes political volatility. And um, yeah, of course, uh, tragic as it is, from time to time there's going to be natural disasters as well that we have to contend with. So um, and it's really important when I think about this to think about the, the, the great opportunity that's there to be set up to manage some of those challenges and volatility and, and to, to, of course, build all that together to drive, drive performance. Great. Uh, what, to your point of view, will hospitality look like in the future? That's a really large question, but <laughs> pick what is important to you. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I hope that, that, that many of the core values of the industry remain um, remain unchanged, of care um, that, that, that is clearly so so important. Um, I, think, I think a couple of changes um, are inevitable now. I think the onset of digital technology and how that yeah. impacts just so many aspects of the way we operate. Um, that is going to happen, that's going to change the way it works and, and, and all of us embracing that and working with that is going to be a key part of, of what we do. Um, and I think the, the, the sustainability aspect will be key. We are a huge global industry, we are a great bringer of, of joy, uh, but we're also a, a big consumer of energy, of water and there's waste to think about and we play a very important role in, in communities. And um, as an industry, to make sure that we're not only taking that growth opportunity, but we're doing it in a way where the external world looks at us and says, you're doing that in a very responsible, long-term, sustainable way. It's going to be important. And that's a lot for leaders in the industry to get their heads around. Is it a technology transformation, rapid growth, some volatility, and then, of course, you know, huge sustainability agenda. Um, plenty to keep me busy and, and, and many people here at IHG. Which is great, in fact. Many, many challenges, challenges for the future. And my latest question is more about the way you lead your people, the way you manage to convey your outlook, to share with them, to share it, sorry, with them, and to make them do what is important to you for the company. Yeah, I think in the model um, and the business that I'm, I'm unfortunate to lead. Uh, a, a key part of what, what I need to be doing um, is to see my role as how I set people mm -hmm. up to be successful and how do I understand what it is that our teams in markets are, are seeing, um, the opportunities they see, the challenges that they face, and how do I work with them to help them create their plans, to own their plans, provide the resources that they need um, and be there to support. And yeah, of course, in any role in, in a public company, we've got a role about managing performance and we've got a role to make sure that governance is in place. But, but really for me, it's how do I help people get the most out of um, 
the parts of the business they're responsible for and how do I help them accelerate that growth and that's that's hugely satisfying and part of what I get to do.